There are some things in this world that go way beyond human understanding. Things that cannot be explained. Things that most people don't want to know about. That is where we come. Do you know what the most frightening thing in the world is? It's fear. We all go a little mad sometimes. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. What an excellent day for an exorcism. It's all true. The boogeyman is real. And you found him. And there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk here. I see dead people. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. They're here. Talking. That's right, you have reached Ghost Freaking Talking, your paranormal podcast. Not like any other paranormal podcast you've listened to. I can guarantee you <laughs> yeah, that. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Uh, we are not for the week of heart, but we are continuing our 31 days of Halloween. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Halloween. It is the month of Sam Hain. <laughs> <laughs> Samhain It's the Samhain. month of Samhain <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen We are giving you uh, A different topic each day uh, Throughout the month of October 31 days To be exact And I believe we are on day 8 7 or 8 I don't I know it's eight. I'm, I'm losing count now I But, but we have made it You know A lot of people said I didn't even make a week <laughs> I'm impressed Yes all right, so but we still got a lot of days ahead of us. Oof. There's three weeks, four weeks. Uh, yeah, you know it's four weeks in October, yeah. but um, we are one week in. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep this train rolling. And tonight's topic, we are talking the Winchester Mystery House. The Winchester. Exactly, the Winchester Mystery House is a mansion in. San Jose, California. San Jose. So when we take our trip out to California to catch a 49er game. We'll come visit this. Uh, we're definitely having to go and do a tour of the Winchester Mystery House. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and they have, we're going to have a dog, dog wanting out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It never fails. It never fails. The dog wants out. So we're letting... Her out of the house right now. There you go, Kevin. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was once the personal residence of Sarah Winchester, the widow of firearm. Uh, oh, oh, look at another big fucking word in Wikipedia. Magnate. M A G N A T E. Mm-hmm. All right, William Winchester. Located at 525 South Winchester Boulevard in San Jose, the Queen Anne-style Victorian mansion is renowned for its size, just like me. (laughs) (laughs) Its architecture curiosities and the lack of any master building plan. Um, And when they say it's lack of master building plan, it's because basically she had workers working on it 24 hours a day. Okay, uh, wow. and the whole reason why she did that is because she was told that if this house was done and finished, she was going to die. Hmm. All right. Let's just keep building on that bad boy. Uh, since its construction in 1886, the property and mansion were claimed by many to be haunted by the ghosts of those killed by the Winchester Rifles. Under Winchester's day-to-day guidance, its from-ground-up construction uh, proceeded around the clock, by some accounts, without interruption, until her death on September 5, 1922, at which time work immediately c- ceased. So as soon as she died, everyone's like, all right. We're done. Hi-ho! 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 
<laughs> so everyone was like gone. They're like, what? Bitch is dead. Gone. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> All right, after her husband's death from tuberculosis in 1881, Sarah Winchester inherited more than $20.5 million. Uh, that's the equivalent of $543 million million in now times. Yeah, I was going to say that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. She also uh, received nearly 50% ownership of the Winchester Arms Company, giving her an income of roughly $1,000 a day which is equivalent of $26,000 in our time. Wow. How I would did. you like that to get paid $26,000 a day just for not doing anything? Must be nice. So, you know, she had all this money, and uh, so she put it in this fucking monster-ass house. Uh, after her, playing hide and seek in this house. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> after her infant daughter died of an illness known as Marasmus, Marasmus, a children's disease in which the body wastes away, and her husband died of pulmonary tuberculosis. And a Boston medium told her, uh, while channeling her late husband, that she should leave her home in New Haven and travel west to Alaska. No, uh, where she <laughs> must continuously build a home for herself and the spirits of people who have fallen victim to the Winchester rifles. So, um, I, you know, you know my stance on, on uh, mediums. <laughs> that is slightly skewed nowadays. Yeah. Um, I'm more of a believing skeptic than I am a total skeptic. Total skeptic. Um, maybe this chick just wanted this fucking pitch gone and be like, dude, get out of her town. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, Winchester left New Haven and headed for California. Although it was possible, she was simply seeking a change of location and a hobby during her lengthy depression. Because she said uh, they said that she was in total depression after you know her her husband and, and then her kid died. Yeah. Um, so in 1884, she purchased an unfinished farmhouse in Santa Clara Valley, also home of the 49ers. Santa Clara. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and began building her mansion. Carpenters were hired and worked on the house day and night until she bec- until it became a seven-story mansion. Uh, she did not use an architect and added onto the building as haphazard fashion. So what she would do is that uh, she would have staircases just put in this house. Most of them led to nowhere. They led. Nowhere. They went right into the fucking ceiling. Mm-hmm. Um, she had. There's a doorway that if you open it up, it falls right. It's a 13 foot drop. It, the yeah, door, just, the door opens. Yeah. You know, you're on like the second or third oh. floor. <laughs> it's like you look look out and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, I can't keep going. Uh, she also had a thing for the number 13. Um, so everything, uh, she she would have her chandeliers because mostly chandeliers are symmetrical. You know, how they can balance and everything. Um, She would have those made from 12 to 13. Mm -hmm. So so the chandeliers all had like 13 prongs and stuff on it. Uh, If there was a a row of coat hangers, 13 coat hangers. Um, There are some believe that she did the number 13 because uh, there were 13 main ghosts that uh, depicted and told her how these things were done. Um, at midnight, uh, she had a bell tower and at midnight, the bell tower would ring 13 times calling it. Um, I don't know if it rang 13 times, but it it signaled for her to go to her seance room. Every night, Sarah Winchester would have a seance in her seance room to talk to the spirits and ask the spirits what was to happen to the house next. Hmm. So, you know. Interesting. So the spirit was like, I want a Victorian bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the I want claw a swimming feet. Yes. <laughs> I want a hot tub. Can I have one of those rooms? Like like in uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Red Room of Pain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a game room? <laughs> How about a bidet? Yes, I need my asshole cleaned by a bidet. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, but no, like some of the stuff that she had put in her house, uh, she had just made just for the house. Like uh, she had uh, uh, washing tubs uh, that not to wash herself, but to wash clothes. And it was like ribbed. She would have the porcelain ribbed. So you use it as a washboard. And, you know, before that was before any of its time of people having casted anything like this. Yeah. Uh, sh- there is a room where she has plants and stuff. And uh, the floorboards open up. So you can water these plants. And whatever runoff from the water from these plants drains through the floorboards and goes outside. Impressive. Yeah. And um, she has a stairway because she had massive um not carpal tunnel what is that uh arthritis she had major arthritis so it was hard for her to lift her foot up so she had tiny stairs she had a row of 42 stairs which were only like two inches per stair Mm -hmm. uh that went up so she could make her way upstairs to go to her seance room at night that's cool yeah um she had uh to this day there are people that go into the winchester house and you know encounter spirits uh, and all that kind of crazy stuff yeah um but they do host uh um tours they have a bunch of different tours that they do uh there and they do have pricing for it um oh no my phone just like rebooted itself Oh, uh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, you got Halloween flashlight tours. So you can do a flashlight tour through the house. It ranges between $25 and $55 to wow. go through it. What? How do you range that? I don't know. Uh, now they have self-guided mansion tours. I guess you you know, load it up on your app. It's like an app on your phone. Yeah. And you can walk through the house. Uh, it's $20 to $50 to do a tour wow. there. Wow. A virtual tour. Um, <laughs> or you could take a tour of just the garden for 10 bucks. Why do I want to just do the garden? Yeah. Um, but the Ghost Adventures have been there a couple of times. Um, and the one episode that I remember the most with them is that they were trying to do an experiment at the house to where they're tying it to I want to say it's the the Wushu, uh, the the Wushu Club <laughs> and Bobby Mackey's. They're trying to and try to uh, to live feed into each one of these things to see if they could get spirits to transfer from each of these houses. Isn't that like one of the like the mansion, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, isn't that like one of the few things that they couldn't do because like it was just too like too much for them yeah they uh um zach and the crew have never walked off of a investigation before Mm -hmm. but they left the winchester house yeah oh wow but they came back though yeah they came back a second time for it but they, they left the house because it was uh draining too much uh i think uh aaron got really sick while filming there, yeah. So they ended up leaving that, then that entire investigation. They've never had, you know, left an investigation like before. That. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so it, it's definitely a place I want to go to. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy. If you guys can, there's a lot of videos out there that show you the inside of this house. It's really freaking cool. Um, it's a it's a house built by spirits, basically. Um, and uh, I was talking to the paranormal group. Uh, the UAW paranormal group that was at uh, Wolf Hollow the other day, and they actually went there and took took the tour of the house. Oh, okay. Um, and they said it's just magnificent in there. Oh, I'm you know, sure it is. Yeah, just the architecture of it. Oh, cool. um, you know, like I said, a lot of stuff was before its time. Mm-hmm. Um, but just to be able to walk into it and knowing that um, basically it was being told by spirits on how to build this house. Yeah. Um, you know whether it's just build a stairway, go to nowhere, right. or you know whatever. Put a door here. Yeah, put a door here. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, they, they they say that there's uh, different spirits that come still through the house. Uh, there's one room that uh, you could walk into the room multiple different times, and there'll be a different smell in there each time you go into it. <laughs> um, Crazy. Uh, referencing to possibly the 13 different ghosts that are in the house. 
I wonder if that, that movie 13 Ghosts. I was just thinking about Matthew Lillard and 13 Ghosts. It's such a good movie, actually. <laughs> Which, which yeah. yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, I think movie. That's one of the, the one of my favorites. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen. No. Oh, that's fucking kick yeah, ass. It's a really oh. good movie. So I, I wonder if 13 Ghosts uh, played. Had something to do with that? Had something to do yeah, with that. I don't know. Because I was thinking that too, actually. That's funny. Yeah. Um, it, it's just so weird. I don't know if. You know, because 13 is supposed to be a bad number, right? Right. Yeah. That's why hotels, you don't have a 13th floor. Yeah, like cruise ships, they skip over the 13th floor, too. Yeah. Know, a lot of places do that. But you can't fucking ignore that there's a fucking 13th floor. Well, yeah, you're on the 13th floor. <laughs> it's just we're going to name it 14 so you yeah, feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so, yeah, 13. So I, it, it'd be interesting if uh, anyone could ever go in there and find out all 13 of these ghosts. Yeah. Are we entertaining you, son? Yes. You uh, seem to be. I got distracted. You seem to be getting distracted here. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, it's been late. It's is, past three po- is filming three podcasts way too much for you? I, I think so. I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh oh. We're, we're looking behind the curtain, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are not filming a third podcast in one night. <laughs> oh. Fourth wall break. Uh, even though we are wearing, wearing the same clothes, the same clothes <laughs> sitting in the same spot, you know, nothing's really changed much. Uh, but that is the Winchester Mystery House. Um, it, it seemed like it didn't entertain you guys at all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no, I think I, it's I, I cool. love the idea of it, but like I don't know. You went from such hype for the other two episodes, not hype, but like well, what well, we talked about. Well, it yeah, uh, Stingy Jack kind of was the, the the pinnacle of the night, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, the Winchester Mystery House. Uh, it, it's a haunted house. It's like yeah. the best haunted house you could probably get into. Yeah. Um, go in there and uh, yeah. Guess I, I the one video that I did watch. It was uh, some punk kids. They they're like, well, I should I should make fun of them because they have like 14 billion you know subscribers and shit <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, but they went in and like totally disrespected shit. They were like doing fart jokes and shit like that. And, really? You know, yeah. They were promoted. Funny, yeah, they were yeah. promoted by Hot Topic, so they're they got in for free because Hot Topic got them in there. Yeah, and they're doing fart jokes and you know you know staging fake shit throughout the house. And I, I just I to me I felt they disrespected it. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean that's how that's why people don't believe us. Yeah. For anything is because of those types of people. Yeah, exactly. It so um, I believe it was I, I don't remember. There's like. Corey and Corey, maybe <laughs> Corey and Dylan. I don't know. It's, it's something like that. It's, it's a bunch of jokers, a uh, bunch of California kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. California. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was entertaining, but it was very disrespectful uh, at the same time. So, if you guys can, make sure to go out to the Winchester Mystery House. If you guys have. Gone out to the Winchester Mystery House. Uh, write to us at ghostft at yahoo.com. Where is that? Ghostft at yahoo.com. Yeah, let us know. If you went to the Winchester Mystery House, did you experience anything? Did you feel anything? Because uh, that paranormal team said they weren't there for an investigation, but you know, you're still some of these tours you can go in and have an EVP recorder or whatnot yeah. and do your thing, kind of like what I did at uh, Tinker Swiss. And they said they didn't get anything. Hmm. Um, and and that video that I also saw with the the punk kids, yeah, they didn't get anything either. So how haunted is it? I don't know, but it was enough to scare off the Ghost Adventures crew. Yeah, hmm. interesting. So you know, it's just that hit and miss. You can't make ghosts yep. jump and shit on demand. Yeah. Nope. All right. So uh, once again, we forgot to plug <laughs> our our Etsy partner, uh, Mr. Hinkle Draws. Uh, if you guys want. He's got some awesome Halloween stickers out there. Uh, go to Etsy shop, Mr. Hinkle Draws, and get yourself uh, some awesome stickers from Billy the Puppet. He's got uh, Michael Jackson Thriller, Carrie, uh, what is it, Reagan from The Exorcist, which is a beautiful sticker. If you guys have not, go out and check out these stickers. Buy them and tell them that Ghost Freaking Talking sent you. And Ghost Freaking Talking loves you. That's right. We. I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh huh.
So you are afraid of something after all, huh? What an excellent day for an exorcism. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Come on, I'll take you home. Get your limited edition Halloween sticker series at Etsy.com. Shop Mr. Hinkle Draws. Ten designs to choose from. From Jason, Freddy, Ghostface, Carrie, Thriller Michael Jackson, Frankenstein's Monster and the Bride of Frankenstein, Billy the Puppet, Pennywise the Clown, and Reagan from The Exorcist. All right, guys, so that is the Winchester Mystery House for Ghost Freaking Talking. 31 days of Halloween. Of Halloween. Stay tuned all month long. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Uh, we'll get you all 31 days in. If I miss a day or here, is anyone going to hold me to it? Really? I'll hold? forgive I you. All I right. wouldn't. I'd all be right. like, yo, you, you, you missed a day. Well, whether it's just me sitting here and... Uh, just doing this by myself. But I will say, though, that we did get a comment because uh, I was at Wolf Hollow by myself. And we did receive a comment saying it was an interesting show, but you two were missed. Aww. Yeah, and that, that came from Doc Sampson. Doc Sampson said that uh, that you guys were definitely missed uh, during the podcast. So. Yeah, the crew. Yeah, the rest of the crew. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, you know, I can't hold it down by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah it, it's just uh, we have a good uh, thing where yeah. we bounce off of each other. Not yeah. so much this episode. Not this episode. Not the this other episode. Two episodes. We, we're not going to hold this episode as being one of our best ones of this. this I think the because I seen you spacing out. You were sitting over there like oh, I'm tired. Let's get this done. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here involved. I'm not spacing out like uh, Trent over here. Hey. Uh, so, Don't so, point fingers. Hey, you're over there. Yeah, yeah, so so you know, I'm I'm like, man, I I could pull more stuff out with Winchester House, but fuck, you guys look bored as fuck. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. not bored. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, as always, everyone has a story to tell. Everyone does have a story to tell, and stay spooky. Stay spooky. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and whoop, evening. dog drinking in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Bye. <laughs>